Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to grow pole beans. These are actually my bush beans and they take up about a two foot, two and a half foot by four foot space and you can see um, some disease and bugs have set in and kind of damaged these but I did get a good harvest out of them. But I want to show you what the pole beans look like. Right across the way in a lot less space there's about six to eight pole bean plants growing up the stakes. So let me walk over there. You can grow pole beans in uh, a two foot by two foot space pretty easily in most gardens. You just need some wooden stakes. You can see my tomatoes are dying out. It's about September 5th here, but we're going to use these stakes to grow pole beans. And one of the reasons I like pole beans is you don't need as many plants as the bush beans. And they seem to, to really do better against pests and disease, and maybe that's because they're growing up. But here are my bush beans, or here are my pole beans. And they are, uh, you know, seven feet tall, probably got past eight feet in the air. Moving over to my uh, cucumber trellis, which now I do have peas starting to grow up that. But it's really easy to set up, and that's what I wanted to talk about. These stakes right in here are from Home De Depot. They're eight foot um, stakes. They were only, I think, either $1.98 or 98 cents. I think they were two bucks each. So for six bucks, you just drop in three stakes, however you want them. And right down in the bottom, I put about three pole bean seeds per post. And just look how well they're doing. There's beans down there that have to be pulled. I've been eating these already. But as you work your way up, you just see dozens of great looking green beans. That's what I'm going to be having for dinner. You keep going all the way up. They're still flowering. All the leaves are really healthy. I haven't even really sprayed this with anything. But if you've not grown beans before or you've grown bush beans and they seem to get disease and insects, they take up a lot of room, don't be afraid to try pole beans. Just three steaks, cost you about six bucks, just stick them in the ground and let the pole beans grow right up them and you will get beans over a good month long period. Again, it's September, about September 5th here and these will keep producing beans, I think as long as the plant stays healthy and the frost doesn't come. Hope you enjoyed the video have an idea of what you can do with pole beans, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.